Hello everyone, this is Issa Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, we have this defense team here. Pretty budget-ish fireball for the most part. Lots of unmerged units, but we're just, eh, it's still non-trivial. There is Panic, of course, and Est. Even though she's blue, she still packs a lot of attack. Kill power won't be a problem for us, for sure. I'm not concerned about that. We can definitely one round KO everything, assuming we double, of course. Um, some of these units we definitely can't one shot. So the plan is going to be abusing Bolt Tower here. I know there is uh, Wings of Mercy on Olivia, but I don't think that should be too relevant. Um, Dark Shrine's pretty relevant, though. Let's see, how do we want to do this? It's gonna be a very slow setup, so maybe we. I don't want to. I want to just like go this way with um, this air, okay, but I'm just afraid that the setup's gonna be too slow then, and we're gonna time out. He's already burning like four turns, I believe, setting up at least, and probably five, so that's definitely not great. Um, so the idea, I guess, would be take out Camilla, then take out Camilla, hit and turn, and then S tier. Assuming we take out Dark Shrine, um, so she'll have 64, 68, 71, 75, like 75 attack or so, actually less, so 68. And so she's still gonna do a wall up to Nino. This was 68 is going to be 55. So that's still at least 13 times 2 if I set up properly. Um, but it's not enough to where I'm actually nervous about it. The big thing though is of course Camilla getting chipped down by this because currently with all their buffs, you know, they have Katamatsu, Ward Flyers plus 6, plus 10, or plus 10. Um, that's for speed. And then plus 14. So technically still in one shot range, comfortable one shot range, but excuse me, we're not really worried about one shotting here. It's more about Cam Camilla, this Camilla, if that makes any sense. I don't think there's any reason for us to go over this to the left. Technically speaking, one play we could do as well is go for, if we didn't have the bolt tower here, Let's go for a hit and run, like one run KO Camilla. It's basically hit and turn. Is then what follows, of course, is this. Likely a dance from Olivia. And then an attack. And then I would expect Camilla to be able to attack us. But only Nina would be in her attack range, I believe. In such a way where only she could get danced or in such a way where she could get danced. So, assuming we set everything up perfectly, which is next to impossible, I don't think it's possible without the chip damage because I'm just talking about these hypothetical things because I don't expect this match to be too difficult once we take out these two, but uh, you never know. <laughs> I guess technically, oh oversight on my part is if we're breaking healing tower then this play does not work okay if breaking healing tower then we can't place Caden here here because as there is there so that's an oversight but let's just continue talking about why things go downhill I'm trying to one round KO Camilla here so it's plus two plus four plus eight Wait, plus 2, plus 6, plus 10. I can't count. Plus 14. Plus 18. So she has 52 res, which requires 77 to one round KO, which is, uh, in general terms, pretty trivial. Um, we're more concerned about the doubling part. She does have, what's that, 47? Something like that, 47, and we'd be debuffed by Bright Shrine. So, 
You would need the Caden buff, I believe, or a Peony dance and Flower of Joy to double. I believe, could be wrong on that. But um, so there's that as well. Let's see, let's, if we do the triple break turn one, turn two, do we ever get good mileage here? No, because we have this ether amphorae in the way. So do we wait till turn three? It just doesn't. It just doesn't seem like it works out for us. Um, maybe we just don't need to break the healing tower, and just worry about that later. So then we'd have to figure out how to get Nino buffed up. So it'd be like Nino, Peony, Caden. Uh, are we gonna put Caden here? No, we can't do that. Yeah, this is not trivial, for sure, because of the Bright Shrine. So if Nino's here, we could probably take out Camilla, although we only are, we aren't buffed for much. We'd only be buffed for, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not one round KOing there. So then we'd have to go for a turn three window play. So what does that look like? Turn one. Turn one, so we have this like formation. To like a T Tetris T piece formation, I guess, if you wanna think about it that way. I guess we can ignore the Dark Shrine. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Um, we're mostly concerned about getting Kate in here. And getting Nino buffed enough to where she can one-shot this Camilla. So I already forgot the numbers, so let's go again. <laughs> uh, 6, 10, 14, 14, assuming Bright Shrine active, I guess. Actually, no, you would dance, so... Yeah, I don't know how we do this. We have, if we get the turn three window, then we're fine, I think. I'm just concerned that Nino's not gonna be buffed for defense. And so that would cause some problems. Oh, whatever, we'll just, we'll just derp. I don't really care too much what the outcome is. Also, it's just, it's just straight up easier to look at things once you have the setup. Which is why stuff like using Excel to plan out your things can be helpful or drawing out diagrams. So here's where it's like, now what do you do? Kind of a deal. Uh, yeah, it's too involved. There's too much, um, movement going around, I think. I guess technically, okay, um, I'm seeing something here. So, assuming we, like, pretend we're, we stay in this position, but we sacrifice the defense buff on you. So if we sacrifice the defense buff on, you know, what do we, what do we get out of that? Um, was that 36, 30? One, thirty-one versus I don't even remember what this was again. Gosh dang it! <laughs> sixty-four, sixty-eight, seventy-one, seventy-five, sixty-eight, uh, fifty-five, fifty-five versus six. Wait, okay. 55 versus... I don't know why this is so difficult for me <laughs> to compute this. There's really no reason for this to be that difficult. Uh, 
All right, I'm just gonna assume I said 55 for S attack. <laughs> 55, um... I'm blanking. 55, 36, 31. So it's 24 times two. That's quite a bit of damage. Yoon, 57. What is that? 57, 63, 67, 67, and then 60, yes. 60, two, or 53, 60. So I think we take exactly zero when we're in brazen range against Yoon, which is great. Azura, we one-shot that, and I guess technically speaking, because she, Olivia is out of range of healing tower, she's gonna be at 17, so that's a pretty easy vantage kill for Nino. Um, okay. So I think the play is to just break the Amphorae with Peony, draw this air down here, so then we revert to the same state. Except airs, this air is down here and this air is over here. And so then next turn we repo with Nino, or with Caden. And then we pick up the kill on Camilla. In theory. I'm pretty sure she's not bulky enough to... Oh wait, no, there's bolt tower going off, so that's fine. Uh, so that's a one shot. And then we can dance with Peony, thanks to aerobatics. And then we also smite Caden up to, so we have everything as we want it. So let's do it. Okay. Pretty straightforward. What could possibly go wrong, Kappa? <laughs> Order matters, I'm pretty sure. Alright, here we go, here's one. I guess one thing I could go wrong is, well, if we, uh get flyer formation to me to death but uh there we go pulling up Caden there's no sudden panic or anything so let's see what Nino's can do here there's the uh 21 times 2 that I don't remember if I predicted correctly but uh should be a pretty clean sweep here bolt tower too overpowered in this instance but yeah the hidden run strat definitely would have been okay but it would definitely hinge on taking out Camilla. Alternatively, you could go for the kill on um, the Elysian Travelers, the Flying Olivia, and run from there, or set up a clever bait. But um, it's just basically knowing your AI at that point and targeting shenanigans and such. But yep. Yeah. That's it for the end of the season here. Still haven't gone our defense match for yet, so I haven't. I've been trying to stall recording the replay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're we're obviously not going to be top uh, 1K with this. I I doubt top 3K. We'll see. But yeah, it's pretty high up tier 26. Pretty happy with how I did. Um, as you can see, if I had, this is the thing with the plus 150 lift team, if you have a perfect season, then you get 13,400 and therefore get tier 27. So because of that, you can, you can basically never get tier 27 that way. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.